Hello and thank you for joining us. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're going to talk about in this video is the Plex server that is built into the Nvidia Shield. Plex is, as you know, a popular app that allows you to organize media as far as TV shows, news, things like that into one whole interface. You can pull in things that you've already got access to, that like digital movies and TV shows. You can also bring in movies that you have access to. So if you have you know digital files and you want to keep them all together, you can do so with this and then have a searchable library, alphabetical, so that you can find things even search for specific actors and directors and things like that like Netflix does but in order to put all of these sorts of things together you need a server and a server usually requires a user to use something like a computer something like a Mac you know people can use a laptop a lot of people use dedicated desktop PCs in order to power things, keep it all together, or even a network attached storage known as a NAS. But what you can do with the NVIDIA Shield that makes this different is the NVIDIA Shield itself is a Plex server for just a couple of hundred dollars. So it's sort of a two-in-one. You get an Android media player and a Plex server. And how that's different is this. For instance, right here, you see Ryan's iMac. This is a PC. It's sitting on my desk as we speak, and the NVIDIA Shield through Plex looks for Plex servers that I have access to. It sees the iMac, it sees what we've got access to, and there you are. And that's the way Plex traditionally works on things like a Roku or a Fire TV or, you know, anything else, even if you're accessing it via, you know, a cell phone or an iPad or something like that. So that is a traditional Plex setup, you know, pared down a bit, but that's the way people usually interact with it. On the other hand, what you see here, the Shield Android TV, this is my media player, the same thing that's, you know, that we were looking at earlier. I don't have a whole lot set up right now because this is a I just got this set up a couple of days ago, but it recognizes the Shield Android TV as a Plex server, the same way that it does the iMac, the same way that it does the Toshiba PC, which is my laptop that I don't have. I also share with some people, so I have access to those sorts of things. But the in general, it's really important to note how significant this is because it means that as opposed to having a you know a four hundred dollar computer or you know whatever you pay for you might buy thousands of dollars of computers but in order to set up a Plex server that's what you need otherwise but with the Nvidia Shield you get that access directly to a Plex server without having any other things to worry about. On top of that, you can hook up a hard drive to the NVIDIA Shield so that you can have tons and tons of space for your content. But that's just something I wanted to point out because as Plex grows in popularity, people are always looking for inexpensive Plex servers. We've even got a full article about how to build one out of a PC that I'll attach in the comments or in the uh, descriptions for this video. But just to clear up things, the difference between a Plex app and a Plex server is that the Plex app is what you see here. These things are available through the Plex app, and you can see you know, all of their extras, like the web shows, podcasts, news, even title, the music service. But in order to set up your own stuff, like let's say you have 300 movies that you've collected over time, you need to be able to put that on a Plex server in order to access it. And that's what it does. That's what you can do with the NVIDIA Shield. If you have 300 movies on a hard drive, you can hook it up to the NVIDIA Shield 
and you got access to it immediately without having to go through a computer. I hope that was understandable. I hope that you found it interesting. If you did, please subscribe and share this video with your friends. As always, I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.